But man, that is being withered away right now with this with this witness. I mean, it's just kind of just very, 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 very constrictive, the feeling that I would get as a defense attorney. I look at these trials from the standpoint of a defense attorney, and I ask myself, how would I feel if I was in that courtroom? I've been in I've been in these courtrooms. I've sat next to defendants. I've I've heard testimony from people opposed uh, opposed to my client, and I get this overwhelming feeling. Sometimes you feel buoyant when you when something comes up and then you know in your cross-examination you're going to be able to gut a witness's credibility. Not going to happen here. If I was a defense attorney, and we've seen this with this defense team, they've been very, very short and succinct in their cross because these witnesses have just been star witnesses. I feel like the entire nation was prepping the Georgia Bureau of Investigation and the state of Georgia to basically get ready to do this prosecution. The the subpoena to cash app and just the detail they went into. My God, um, yeah, no, this is uh, this is this is a very airtight case so far. Oh yeah, nothing more damaging in that uh, accusation that we heard from the defense of this may have been the brother wearing his clothes when you've got a picture of him wearing the hat that was seen in the video uh, that had the DNA of the victim on it. Uh, we are going to take a break.